Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, it looks like, as a lot of people have predicted, JP will be getting a new LR Full Power Frieza for part 2 of their current celebration. And as you can see, we got the art and the details from the official Dokkan Twitter page on the screen right now, but unless you can read Japanese, which I personally can't, this isn't really super helpful to you, so we're actually gonna pop over to uh, Reddit here and look at the translations by the one and only Goretch. So thank you very much to Goretch for the translations as always. And uh, why don't we start with the leader skill here. So he is a full power category leader. He plus four HP attack and defense plus 130% or extreme STR types key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 100% which would tell you that he is going to be an extreme STR type that's cool and his super attacks number 1 uh, the 12 key super is death slicer causes mega colossal damage to the enemy so mega colossal on the 12 key really nice but also sacrificing 8% HP so very similar to the super saiyan blue cow can mechanic where um, you know, you sacrifice some HP for extra damage, or at least at the time, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken was doing like pretty good damage, right? And uh, his 18 key is Nova Strike, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. And um, so that's it for the super attacks. And his passive is a little bit um, long and a little bit confusing, but stick with me, we'll figure it out together. So his passive is Amplifying Wrath. You start out with key plus 2, attack and defense plus 80%, so that's always going to be there. And then when HP is 90% or below, he gets an additional key plus 1 and attack plus 10%. When HP is 70% or below, he gets an additional attack plus 2 and attack plus 20%. When HP is 50% or below, additional key plus 2 and attack plus 20%. And then finally, when HP is 30% or below, additional attack, additional key plus 2 and attack plus 20%. And a guaranteed critical hit. So um, there's a lot of stuff, obviously, but basically think of it as all of these effects most likely are going to stack, right? Because if they don't stack, then you would expect the attack boost to be, you know, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% as the HP restriction goes lower, right? But it's not the case here. So I think it's only reasonable to assume that all of these effects are stacking. And when you add all of those numbers up, this Frieza could get up to a 150% attack boost, in theory, and also plus 9 key on his passive. At which point, I would assume that he would hit extremely, extremely hard, and also it would be really easy to get his 18 key super off. So, I mean, I've heard a lot of rumblings out there, man. People just talking about how this Frieza on paper seems underwhelming, he seems like a disappointment, so on and so forth. But we haven't even seen this guy in action yet, he's not even out yet, so... I would reserve my judgment for until we see some gameplay and stuff like that. But on paper to me, actually, he, he seems pretty good. He actually seems pretty damn good. And even let's say you're usually hovering around like, you know, 90 to 70% HP, he's still gonna get somewhere in the range of 90 to like 110% attack, which should still make him hit really hard as an LR with LR stats, right? So, um, you know, don't make your judgment too quick. Just wait until more information comes out. But that's what I know about him right now, and he looks Pretty damn good to me, alright? His links are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Strongest Client in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Full Power, Planet Namek Saga, Transformation Boost, and Wicked Bloodline. And Goresh would also like us to know that he has an erection now. Alright, so uh, good to know. And uh, that's all the information you guys will need right now for the Full Power Frieza. Um, before we end off the video though, let's pop back to... Twitter real quick and take a look at this guy's super attack because they also posted that as well and we're actually gonna pause that go back a little bit full screen and uh, here we go so I would assume we're starting out with the 12 key super first And there we have the 18 key. So those are the super attacks for this new upcoming Frieza. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, how you guys feel about it. I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good, but they don't blow me away like the uh, transforming, you know, Namek Goku's did 
or even the uh, Tech LR Broly. I feel like the Broly did have better attack animations, but you know, they're not bad. They're not bad. They're still really nice, um, still really well done in my opinion. I just like, they don't get me super hyped like the other ones did. So um, I'm interested to hear your opinions, of course. And that's all the information I really have for you guys today regarding this Frieza. Once, you know, maybe more information comes out about um, his banner or maybe some damage calculations, I might make another video about it. But for now, that's all I really got to say. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this card and all the details and all that stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>